Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of me making um, a contest entry skin for Smackledorf's contest. Um, there's a lot of time to join, so you have until May 29th. So if you like, if you like any of these palettes and you want to join, I recommend you do because Isaac's a really good friend of mine. So. Um, I'm choosing the palette Cartoons, which is this one, so I already have it on the back of the skin here, so I'm just basically going to do a walkthrough of how I choose everything, um, like the design and stuff. So as you can see, I have six colors, and also we're allowed to use a skin tone and black and white. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to be using those, they probably will though. I always start with a gray base, um, if you watch my other videos you know that. So, I'm thinking of making a male skin because I usually don't make those and I'm trying to get better at it. Now, since I have a lot of colors um, and I don't want to have to be switching them around all the time, I'm going to start with um, gray colors, like um, just so I can get the vibe of the design and everything. Sometimes I do this, especially with palette contests. Um, I definitely recommend to work in grayscale if you're having trouble inspiration especially if you're having trouble with colors okay so now I have my little monochromatic palettes um, sorted out I'm gonna start working on the design um, like I said I think I want to make a male skin so this is a pretty standard thing I usually do so I'm just gonna start with that now I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with the outfit I'm thinking like a sweater So let me just start with a pattern. Usually I don't use a color palette with this many colors, so this is definitely a challenge. I kind of want to add that little zigzag somewhere else, so I'm going to try the sweater. I could possibly have a cutout there. I don't think that looks too bad. Um, okay. So this is what I have so far. I'm going to test it with the colors and see what adjustments I need to change. So, I really like this blue. I think I'll start with making it the color of the shirt. And if it changes, like I said, that's fine. Just make sure to save it in case you go back on your decision. See, usually I only use about four colors, four main colors for my pal color palette. Um, maybe three. So I'm not, um, this is definitely a challenge color that does not clash needs to be the belt. Uh, that one looks fine. Kind of like the way the green looks, maybe? Hmm. Let me try this in a few places. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm going to change the shoes as well. I really don't like how this is turning out. So even though I said I would save it, I definitely think I'm just on the wrong track. This time I'm going to start with the hair. Um, next I'm going to choose a color that goes well with the others um, for the shirt. <laughs> Definitely don't like that. <laughs> I think it's the orange is kind of throwing me off. What if I just left this as white? The problem that comes into play is all of the other colors. You see, I like the design besides probably the shoes. Um, I'm just going to leave the shoes blank, actually. I know that's... <laughs> Never really done that, but... You know. Sometimes you have to improvise and just try out new things. I think I'm going to try the red hair just because it goes with a lot of the other colors. And I really did like the red sweater, but if it doesn't work, then you need to try other things. As you can see, it's like with the red, the violet, and the blue, really bright blue, it's kind of just like different things going on. I would definitely like to explore the color palette with the red, the violet, the red, the violet, and possible white. 
and maybe a black later on. But I think for this skin, I just need to change things up and go for a different color palette. My The other color palette that I was looking at is Wallflower, which is this one. So I'm now going to transfer over the colors and see how I feel. So like I said, I'm going to be testing out the colors here. And you might think, oh, I don't. You might wonder why I'm showing my failed attempt at the other ones. That's because I want to show that um, it does not always come the first try. Sometimes you have to try other things, um, see how that works. Okay guys, so this is what I have so far. Um, I'm just going to call it a night. I'm pretty sure I like it so far. Hey guys, it's me either the next day or the day after. No. And I'm looking at this skin again, and I know I, I said I... I know I said I hated it before, but like, now I'm looking at it again, I actually think it has promise and stuff, so... I'm not so cynical now. Okay, I don't think that looks bad. We'll have to see oh when I add the skin tone. So what I was having trouble with a lot was the how I want this part to look because, well, you know. So guys, um, I messed with it and I like this. Um, I might change it, I don't know, but it's much better than what the last one was. Hi, did I? So now, um, I am now going to extend the colors. So the first thing I'm probably going to do is shade the hair. I actually really like the design. And I also like the colors I chose. Okay, guys, so I'm just... Sh I'm using my normal shading for the hair. Um, I've used the shading for a while. Hey guys, so it's been about a week, I'm pretty sure, since um, I last worked on this skin, so this is what, where we left off. I think it looks really good so far, so um, I'm now just going to carry the design on from the front to the back. On almost all of my skins, I always start with, a, with gray skin because I want the skin tone to look good with the colors. And not just for the colors to look good with the skin tone, especially for something like a palette contest. You don't want your main focus to be on the skin tone, unless the skin tone, unless you're using one of the colors in the palette as the skin tone. So yeah, now I am going to be working on the skin tone. So that's why I was on that. That's why we went on that tangent. You never want your skin tone to be too gray unless you're purposely making them like that because as you can see, it just really duels out the character. When you make it a little brighter, um, you know, it kind of brings back the life. So as you can see, I'm making progress on adding a skin tone. Um, now is the time when I add overlay. I'm going to start with the hair, so for the hair, I always just get a random color. Sometimes I do this while at the beginning when I'm doing the hair, but um, so sometimes I also do it at the end. So I always have a certain pattern I follow. Uh, a lot of people have their own patterns for adding overlay to the hair, so uh, in no way do you have to only do this. So now that I've added bangs to the hair, that's how it looks. Now I'm going to add bangs to the belt. How I use, or not bang. <laughs> now I'm going to add overlay to the belt. Now I always add overlay to the top of the shoes because, um, to show that the shoes are overlapping, so. Um, I also always add overlay to, um, the bottom of the, um, pants or shorts or whatever. 
since it's not a physical pattern, um, like it doesn't actually stick out, I'm not going to do overlay on this, but this is actually cut through it um, in my mind. So I am going to add overlay to show that these, that the sleeves are separate. I also add overlay here. Um, and also, I'm adding a blade to this just to um, make it appear more rounder and um, similar to with the belt. Um, I don't want it to look square, so it because the actual shape of it, if he actually had something uh, there, like in on a real person, it would follow the shape of his leg. But when you square it off, it makes it more like an attachment when really it's just like an accessory that does not stick out much. So hopefully that makes sense. So I actually quite like this. Um, and it looks good in this part. So now the test is if it looks good in the actual game. And if it does, this will be the final skin, so. Hey guys, this is Narration Emma. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Honestly and obviously, um, this skin was a real struggle at, at the beginning, but towards the end, I really enjoyed making this, and I really love how it turned out. So if you did too, make sure to like and subscribe and check out my skin decks. I have commissions open. Uh, there are details in the description. So I hope you enjoyed. Bye. Bye.